Yo, what up, my bandits and bandettes? It's your favorite Green Eye Bandit. I see green up in the building. And check this out. Uh, most times, cats get on here and they do, um, they give y'all some, some hip-hop vibes and whatnot. And Sprab, it's you blessed it, nigga, with this beat. I can't lie. <laughs> well, you know that's not fair. Um, but that requires, you know, very seldom are you going to see an R&B producer produce an R&B joint in FL Studio. Reason being is because, you know, you got to play these ivories, you know what I'm saying? You got to play these keys. So I pulled up uh, Codex. Um, I'm pulling up Codex while we speak, but Codex is a uh, a plug-in. I don't use as much, but it's super dope. I found these, this 80s Rhodes or whatever earlier today, and I was like, yo, I want to, you know, when I get online, I'm going to mess with it. So um, that's what we're going to do today. We're going to do an R&B vibe. So let me check out this... Uh, Tempo could be what's that? What's the side? That's not bad. So let me see if I can find. Uh, yeah. Woo! That already, y'all can feel the energy on that already. So let me give it to you. So I'm gonna speed it up a little bit. So what you'll notice also for anybody who wants to do R&B music or even pop music and whatnot. You got to sing along with it. And I'm saying this to y'all, even if, even if, uh, even if you're doing rap shit and you're doing melodic stuff, sing along with the person, you know, while it's being created. Like I'm singing along while I'm creating it and it's going to push my vibe in this room. It's going to push the vibe of what else I got going on. So let me, um, let me just listen to this. I, I moved this bass note cause it wasn't on quantize. So my quantize is set for input quantize right there. Half step input. So I'm going to highlight these by pressing command and then just scrolling over, but I don't need all those. I just need these three. And I'm going, I'm only going to make these adjustments because I want to hear, you know, how it affects the feel. If it's a, a, in front of the beat a little bit, the only thing I am really concerned about is the bass note being on because um, the top notes is more fluid that way. So I don't want to quantize it all the way. You never want to give a full quantization. So let's listen now. And what I'll say to you is you see how I have some of it quantized. And then if you look right here, this isn't quantized. Uh, this, uh, yeah, this one isn't quantized. And this one is a little bit, you know, it just play. It's how I played it. So it's gonna keep the original feel. I like that. Let's uh, let's go add just add a straight hat real quick, um, cause I don't like producing with the metronome all the time either. Just keeps your key in the pocket. So now that I got it.
when I'm doing eight oh eights, because the frequencies are so hard to hear when it's you know, when it's an octave lower like down here, it's hard to hear if you're hitting the right note or not. Um I don't know if that comes from me banging out music too loud or whatever, but um I typically tune my eight oh eight up high first to make sure that's gonna be in key with the sound and then I'll drop it down low so you can hear it. take the bass line out of your chord progression and just let that run underneath it. It would parallel what's in your piano track, but I'm going to actually ride this a little bit more. But before I get to that, we'll get to that. I want to add a, uh, let's go to Keyscape. Add some piano. And I'm just going to keep it straight with a straight up grand, you know what I'm saying? Um, once that's loaded up, which it's already loaded up, because my computer fast. <laughs> um, I'm going to highlight, which is Command A, then Command C to copy everything. I'm going to go to my piano track, nothing there, and then voila, Command V, I got piano. So what I'm going to do with that, go to my, um, let's get back to this part. Let's see. I always like to put it on its own track right away. Okay. <laughs> See, that's, that's already telling the story. Now, what I would do is, what I should do is, and that's just little accent stuff, so let me start. something like that i would absolutely do this and then i would gross beat it i would uh change the and i still may do that change the eq on it so it sounds really really smooth but for now i'm a i'm a i'm a tell the story oh, don't That's a story right there. It's saying something. <laughs> Gotta sing with this stuff. Let's do it.
but it needs to be on the one as well. Cause that's, and this is a flange up, that's why I'm keeping that. <laughs> thing is keep it simple right so Exactly in the spot. 
But you see, it's off because I started this one, two, wow, right there. So let's back this up. One, two, wow, and now we're good to go. Take the record off. <laughs>
so sometimes, right, when I want to affect it, I will do something like I go to a a guitar, a guitar uh, plug-in and just see what's there, you know what I'm saying? And Before it sounded like an intro, right? Like <laughs> then you drop that up towards. All right, you gotta keep that one in mind. It's called butterscotch. I'm gonna go through and listen to it. this up as an aux track that way I can dial in how much of this effect that I want which I'm going to have to look into um, how to do that on here which you know it's probably the same how it is to do it on most uh, dogs that I have I just haven't learned you know I haven't needed it on this program <laughs> so what I'm gonna do for the sake of let me save that um, for preserving the piano, I am going to clone this and clone this. Command A, Command C, go to this other version, okay, and then copy that in. And then what I have is I should have a version of this where I can change. Uh, well, I'm gonna take that off completely. So um, let me set it set. Guitar Stomp 4, right? Guitar Stomp 4, Butterscotch. And then I'll only bring this in on the intro, so it'll be. <laughs> snap 
not literally, I got some snap. <laughs> but let's give it some snare, you know what I'm saying? So it's really going to cut through, it's really going to hit. Um, so typically, this is what we call layering. So my click, my snare, my claps, and my snaps are officially layered. Now what I will do with my snare is I'll make my snare dance a little bit. So it'd be... scrolling down here I am gain, gain gaining all of my the velocity on all of my notes to all be as high as it can be um, snares my 808s um, I don't like variables in them because they don't give off a dramatic effect unless I want that dramatic effect you know what I'm saying like um, let's see <laughs> So, neat little trick, right? Um, let's take this. So, neat little trick I saw uh, K Beasley do earlier today. I thought it was pretty dope. You know what I'm saying? And. See what I'm saying? See that hear that little 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 run up bass? kind of rap singing hook juice world this kind of thing what not That's a smash nigga. What she don't know won't hurt her.
like that, but let me just get back to this. Now what I, oh no, God dog on it, man. Come on. Okay, so the cool thing about this is I know I've been saving it, so that sucks. So, uh, man, there was a way. I'm going to just go back to my save version, but I'm going to show you all the way. Sprab, you blessed the nigga with this beat. I can't lie. <laughs> you know, what can I say? But I'm going to show you all the way to get back to that version, to get back to your save, you know, to, to get back to a version. Hold on. See, it's playing games with me now, see? Um, but I'm going to show you how to get back to a version before, uh, you know, I can go to my last backup that the computer did. You know what I'm saying? That sucks, but, you know what I'm saying, that pisses me off. But I've been saving along the way, so let's see where it left off at. This is where you got to remember what you did. So here, no, I don't need to see that. What I need to see is here. Um, so... The snare was the last thing um, that I added, and I was so I'm back here with the perk and with the tambourine. I'm just gonna call it perk. I, I know what it is. So the tambourine, and I add that uh, open hat again. So I got one sound left to add in here that will complete my, um, to give it the last piece of what it needs to have, be a full hook, to have a dope melody, and it's just a sound that can ride through the record and keep things, you know, fluid. So I'm going to the loop section of my Excel. Yeah. So, if you don't know the key of the song, which I don't know what key it's in right now, I'm going to go to my master track, and I'm going to add this here auto key from Antares. Now, it's going to sound a little crappy for a minute. I don't mind that until it gives me the key. B flat minor. So I'll take that off now. It's very uh, CPU intensive. So I'm going to B flat minor. Okay, now. So let me mute everything except for what would be the verse, right? So I need to get rid of a lot of this music here. Let me just take this stuff off.
that's some good shit. That's some good shit right there. That, 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 do, do, that, that, that. And that's good shit going right there. That's some work there. That's some rapping work right there. So that's the first one that. So that. Got the bees. Right here. done with this song like a few minutes ago really before the before the at the point of it um at the point of it breaking down or whatever we was done with this so let me see if i can get a um last thing i want to do is add well we'll go back to here let me see no 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 I want to add a um a filter to this. I want to do like a phaser or a flange. And see what that feels like, you know. Cool thing about any of this stuff, man, is I would tell you just try whatever. Just try, try, try. And if you like it, keep it. If you don't, get rid of it. But do something to make it uniquely yours is my advice. Just do something so that the sound is yours. Mysterious. I love all that. That was the piano. Now you can always add a uh, a dope reverb. money and he can fool all this stuff you know what i'm saying so let's go to graffiti reverb 2 let's add this uh ah uh, i see what it is i'm up here adding effects 
like just stuck that in and you didn't read it. So I thought I had it on this one. So let me go back and try my reverb again, my outverb for my. There we go. Hello. Ain't gotta call my brother G Money about that, cause it worked now. Um, I go to the factory joint, and then I, you know, this is a staple for my. Just a dropping y'all a gem. This is a staple for my uh, vocals, but I'm not using that right now. I'm going to pause. Now that's the kind of neat thing. <laughs> Have a little fun, man. Let's uh, let's go through this and see what we got. Uh, yeah, momentary look. Momentary is only good for like if I was going to half speed it. This is going to be my intro, so let's go here, let's delete that, 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 delete the snare, keep the bat, keep the congos, get rid of this, and let me see. Back to this and get rid of this, get rid of this, and get rid of this. So that my so my intro now my intro be super simple. See now this this has to be like right on time or else it's gonna come off way.
feel that that's dope. Um, so let me do that. Rename it and color it. I color it the lightest color because it's the lightest part that's on the pre intro. So I go here. That's the intro. It's important to na name your stuff man and to get your stuff color coordinated. It's a little bit darker than the last one because this song is getting meatier. It's getting bigger. So. <laughs> to the hook I'm going to the verse because I'm going to build the song down how it's going to go so let me name this rename and color first verse I'm going to color this green because that's the money right there so as I go down the song I don't need I don't need the track in for now and I haven't even I'm gonna have to go back and do it once I track the whole song out. So I haven't even tweaked the hi hats yet. Put the snare out. Keep the bongo in it. You know what? For the first verse, take the hat, take the perk, take the hi hats. No high, uh, no high sound. Take the Cody out. Take the second key slip out, and we should this should be the verse. We should be good. And now I'm gonna double this because this part is crazy. For the uh for the verse, and I'm probably just gonna do a solid uh twelve, I think. So let's uh command D that, and that's gonna be right on because the, the drums start on the one. The clap, I'm gonna have to do it like this here, and the claps always start on the second. Um, so does the in the same spot, same predicament. Um, that goes here at the end. That's gonna start on the on, yeah. It starts like the, like it, it start like it's a switch with the bass. That yeah. Boom. Still really no perks though. I don't want all this in there, but remember we building the song. I want to keep y'all interested. And I'm gonna take these out because we finna go into the hook. So I want that snare leading right there into the hook. Um Bongos Codex. So I'm gonna bring the codex in right at the end of this. And I can do this quickly. I press the command, highlight. That's what that was. Um, so, key state. And I'm, I'm going to bring the last same thing. I'm going to bring this in. Right here. Um, so now the pre hook is what this is called. Rename and color. Pre hook one. We're going to color this. Right here, this little orangish red, because it's getting hot. The red is the hook, of course. That's a little static, that little 
let's kick this. Uh, uh, I mean, we need to go to the other. I'm gonna have to fix it on the other one too, but I don't think it's light work. But I want them enemies to flow in each other. It's real choppy right now. Let me hear the difference and see what I can get out of here with. <laughs> I need to put up the end of that. Snares out. Um, kick is out. I like. And I think I want to do something different with the kick. Give a little crescendo. No
sound check one two. So last thing to do, I mean, that's it. I'm tripping. I am stone cold tripping. Now let's put this thing in song mode. So pre-intro, intro, virus, the big virus, seizure vet, hook. Hook, verse two, first verse, and I'll make this unique when I go back and uh, tweak it. First hook, bring me the intro back, bring me the post hook back. back to this here should be two hooks then the post hook two intro post hook 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 okay that's right so now typically do now is I go here I export this joint as an mp3 to my folder where I keep all my um, my joints my new joints they they go in order because and I won't split the mixer track I just want a stereo version for me to ride to and hear what adjustments I got to make and I will bounce this to waves as is because most times whatever I need to fix I could fix in I could fix in Pro Tools but I'll come back to the track and do any adjustments I need to make and go from there. So the only thing that I want to review that I'll, I'm pretty sure I'll know better how to adjust is using 
auxiliary with within uh, Fuji. Like I know how to assign all my options. If y'all see my template on my, go to my template and you'll see the template for my Pro Tools. Is it's a mix, it's a mix recording template beast. Like it's ridiculous. Um, but I use I don't use that on uh, Free Loop. So um, once I've done that, I know it's in my Dropbox. I come back here and I do it as a wave for this session. I create a new folder and I call it. Uh, what she don't know and or what she don't know whatever it is that save split them all start now I don't have to worry about if something goes wrong with the session because I've got it already mapped out like I can't for the business the way I do it I can't be worried about not finding files that's unacceptable like People want to hear it how it is, and I don't want to have to go back and redo anything. So cataloging your stuff is so important. That's why I got, you know, a, a super large hard drive or whatnot, because I am wave filing everything out. If I showed you my, uh, this is my, my system, um, these are all joints right here, dope joints that have been, you know, waved out. You can tell the, uh, purple and green means they, they got a wave that I've tracked them and whatnot. Um. And this is just one folder of stuff. This is other beats that still probably need to get done up. Yeah, a few of them are done. But that's just one folder. My main, One of my main folders is on this drive. This is, uh, these are what I posted to, these are just what I posted to BeatStars. Uh, these are other projects that I have yet to, to do anything with. These are all other projects and songs, sessions, more songs, more sessions, uh, more songs, more sessions, and I mean, it's, then there's this, more songs and sessions, and then there's, mm, I thought it was one more, but there's, there's a, this stuff over here for music with Logic. All these songs and stuff so I got enough this is logic. you know I, I, I work on everything so my logic has got a lot of stuff in it some older stuff all that stuff so this song is done this is the first song I did tonight I don't know if it'll be two or three or whatever but um, yeah I appreciate y'all tuning in my Instagram is at IC green y'all can follow me there if you want uh, tell a friend about this page that wants to know more about I dance between mostly right now I dance between my MPC X and Fruity Loop. Although I have my machine back there that I work on, the studio machine, I may start back doing some stuff on that. Um, and then I have, uh, of course, Logic in the computer that I use. So, anyway, uh, if y'all enjoyed this, thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment. I'm always chopping it up with y'all. If y'all know the shortcuts that I was talking about, you know what I'm saying? Help me get this thing to go a little faster. Um, but I am producing from less of a technical, like, cut and paste and copy all that which I would love to be able to do more of that um, to increase my productivity but I don't mind the results of what I'm coming out with like this like y'all gotta hear the stuff I've been doing lately it's crazy anyway I appreciate y'all tuning in until next time I'll holla <laughs>